so let's just say you've bought yourself a brand new shiny Skylake Intel CPU and you're looking for a home for it, but you don't have a whole lot of money. Well, I think Biosar just may have a board that'll fit your build. This is their brand new Z170 GT7 motherboard. It's considered a racing edition, has a lot of features, and the best thing of all, it's really very, very budget priced. Let's check it out. Now, first off, I know a lot of you fans out there always want to see an unboxing of the product. So why don't we just give you a traditional unboxing first before we talk about the specs. So right here, I have the box in my hand. You guys can see it. It's a box, has the nomenclature and everything on it. Now you guys love that word nomenclature. On the back, we see just a lot more of the same. Now, some of the stuff though, I want to talk to you guys about going through is this board has a lot of different features for it. Like I said, for a board that comes into market under $200, this thing has a shit ton of features. Now, inside the box, you guys right down the packaging can see the motherboard. We'll close this up, but the real thing about this motherboard though is this amazing lighting system that it has and all of their features for their audio. Some of the best things about these Hi-Fi motherboards from Biostar are definitely their audio, and we'll get into more of that later, but some of the great things about it is it offers you great surround sound, completely segregated audio, just like higher-end motherboards by ASUS, and for those people out there who love high-end audio, it also has great stuff for your headphone amplifier, and just everything built in the board really is featured towards sound. It also has a lot of things for overclocking, not like the extreme boards you're going to see, but still, for like I said, a board and $200, a lot of features. So it's real quick here. I'm just going to pop this out here. You guys will see there's a little cap right here. A little cap of the box just pops up. Kaboom. Then we have the motherboard on here. You'll notice though that there's no anti-static bag. I know people are going to freak out like they do that in video cards. They're like, Elric, why is there no anti-static bag? But honestly, with the way they have it set up, you don't really need an anti-static bag. All I got to do is reach myself up here and ground myself out. I'm completely ground out now. So we'll, we'll go ahead and first we'll just take out the motherboard and uh, I will drop this down here and then we will show you guys the motherboard. So why I got it out though, let's talk about the layout. You guys can see that everything on this board is pretty far apart. So that means when you're putting your video cards in, putting your memory and all that stuff inside the board, it's not going to be too much of a hassle to install the stuff. I really hate it when I get some other boards and everything so close together, you're like, man, I can't put anything else in. But this thing being a full-size ATX motherboard, it has plenty of room on it. We'll get into more of the features later. Here's the rest of the stuff in here. Now, this right here is something very, very cool. You guys are gonna like this. It's back behind me as well. This is actually like a type of lighting strip like Hue lighting from Philips, but it's included in the case. Sorry, it's included in the packaging rather. And it lights up and can be fully controlled, fully controlled. That's right, change any color you want through their onboard software. We're gonna get to that. You guys sit behind me as well. So we got the cable. I'm gonna go ahead and just drop that down here. Ryo protection panel. Next up, we have four SATA cables. That's right, there's four of these little bad boys that are all black, so pretty much match anything in your system. We've got the racing driver CD. We have the racing manual. That's right. I'm trying to go through this as fast as possible. And then last but not least, you get what's called the Vivid LED DJ. That's right. So these lights back here have a lot of features. And with that said though now, let's pop out and talk about more actual features of the motherboard. Let's go. So starting at the top of the board, we'll see right off the bat, there's an eight pin power connector. Then you're gonna see there's a wire going between both of the headers in the board. And actually those two white things that you see both light up when you turn the board on, which is really cool. And down below that, you guys can see there are a bunch of capacitors and chokes all around there. These are all made of high quality components. None of this is junk whatsoever. Then we see the ZIF socket. Like I said before, this is the Intel Z170 chipset. And to the right of the CPU, we see the four DIMM slots for the memory. Now you can use up to 64 gigabytes of 3200 megahertz DDR4 memory on this board. So this board definitely has some room for overclocking. And up here in the corner, we'll have a close-up shot so you guys can see this. This is actually the LN2 button. So if you guys are gonna go extremely crazy and you're overclocking, it actually has a button on there to turn it so that it, when it gets so super duper cold, the motherboard doesn't freak out. And right below the memory, we see something that's very interesting on this motherboard. This is called their GT Touch. You guys can see there are four different controls here. The Eco, the Sport, the Reset, and the Power. If you hit the Sport button, it automatically boosts the system's performance. And when you enable the Eco mode, the system optimizes energy consumption. Which means, my friends, it's Earth friendly. And that's always good. We also see the 24-pin power connector. And next up is the Omnibus 
LED warning indicator. So depending on what number comes up on this, if your motherboard's not starting, you can look in your manual, see what the number is and determine what's wrong, then you can fix it and get your board up and going. Next up, we see the SATA connectivity. There are a total of nine connections here. Six are SATA 3 and three are SATA Express. And as we move to the center of the board, you guys can see there are four PCIe 16X lanes and three PCIe 1X lanes. And you guys can see that in between the last two PCIe 16X lanes that we have an M2 SATA connection. Personally, if you can afford one, using an M2 as your boot device is pretty much the fastest way you can go. The board also features a total of five fan headers. Three of them are for your system and two of them for your CPU. Two of them are located down here at the bottom of the board, another one up here near the top, and your CPU fans are obviously located right here by the CPU. As we look at the very bottom of the board, you guys can see that there are a lot of different connections as well as the BIOS and above the BIOS is a BIOS switch. The dual BIOS switch comes in very handy for those people doing overclocking. If you fry one BIOS, you can simply switch to the other BIOS until you repair the other one to get up and going. Next up is the audio chipset. Now you can't really see it because it's covered up by this little racing button right here, but this is the Realtek ALC898 chipset. Provides 8.1 audio. And like I said before, you guys can see that all of the audio stuff is completely separate from the motherboard itself. This keeps all the electrical noise of the motherboard completely out of your audio, which means it's gonna be quiet and not get none of that stuff in the board. And in fact, their entire motherboard design is they're saying, hey, we want there to be absolutely no electrical noise anywhere. So even the features in the basic makeup of the board are all made for that complete silent running sound, which is really good. Other motherboards like Asus and higher end people, they've been doing this for a while, but honestly, the Hi-Fi series from Biostar, they've been doing it for just as long. And like I said, audio is one of the most excellent features of this motherboard. You can also see above the chipset, the four little blue capacitors. Those are also part of your audio system. Before we bounce out and take a look at the rear I.O., let's take a look at the back of the motherboard itself. You guys can see it's pretty plain, nothing really there to talk about, but still some people like to see it. The rear I.O. is pretty decked out. It features a single PS2 connection, a single USB 3.1 Type-C port, five USB 3.0 ports, two HDMI connectors, a single DVI-D connector, a single VGA port, a single RJ45 LAN port, and last but not least, your six gold-plated audio connectors. You guys can also see that around the rear I.O. there's a nice little shroud that looks more like little racing stuff. In fact, the entire motherboard color scheme looks like one of those flags they wave like near the end of the race. So when you get this board, you know you've almost won your race. So those are the specs, the layout, what the board looks like. But like I said, one of the really cool features about this motherboard is its ability to do crazy lighting inside the system. Now you get a cable that's similar to the kind that you get from the people over at Philips Hue. It's a little bit thinner, but the cool thing about this motherboard is that you can go over to Home Depot or any other place and buy a much longer cable connected to the system. Then you can have your entire system lighted up with this and you can control it all through your Windows desktop, which is pretty cool. So right behind me, I have the system. So let's check out this lighting system and some of the ways that you can change it through the software. It's pretty nifty. Now to control the LED Vivid DJ, you need to be booted up into your Windows environment. And then once you've installed the Racing GT software, you can simply click on it and access all the features. Now on the top, you guys can see you have the same features you had on the motherboard. You can have normal mode, eco mode, or sport mode, which like I said, automatically pretty much overclocks your system. And then down below that, you can see both the color and sparkle settings. You actually get four different modes, permanent, which leaves the lights the way they are. Then there's breathe mode, which is pretty much just a very slight pulsing, kind of like when you're breathing. Then next up you have the shine feature, which is pretty much just the blinking feature. And then last but not least, you get shine plus music. And what this means is that whatever song you're playing, the lights will pulsate to the beat of your music. You can also change the color of the light to pretty much anything you can imagine. So that's the layout, the features, all the different components on the board. But what if you wanna control your PC world completely? NZXT's cam offers you a whole new level of control than ever before. For serious and novice gamers alike, there's no more powerful companion to your PC than cam. 
Cam features a sleek, user-friendly interface and offers real-time component monitoring to ensure your rig is doing exactly what it should be, when it should be. And if it isn't, Cam will let you know. Plus, the best thing is this software is free. It was designed and developed by NZXT and allows you to control your CAM-enabled hardware from just about anywhere. And last but not least, folks, let's real quick take a look at the racing BIOS that's included with this BioStar motherboard. The Z170 GT7 features a complete UEFI BIOS. There are five screens you can navigate from, and it's all easily done with just the click of a mouse. All the various control features of your motherboard are located here, including control for overclocking, memory speed, and anything else you need to set up before you boot into your system. Okay, tech fans, so that pretty much wraps up today's video. Everything you need to know about the brand new Biostar Z170 GT7. Like I said, this thing's geared for doing mild overclocking, really geared for those people who like audio, and hey, it's only $149, so it's definitely a motherboard that's not going to break the bank. I know there's gonna be some people out there that are like me, like, oh my God, it's a Biostar motherboard, but trust me, I guarantee you, if you get this board, you're not gonna complain about it. It's not gonna be the greatest board in the world like Asus, but those boards are also you know, three and four hundred dollars. You're only playing one hundred and forty nine dollars for this board and you get all those features. And that lighting feature is pretty much a lot like Philips Hue, only it's built into the system when you build it, which is really cool. Like you, like I said, you guys can go to Home Depot, buy an existing cable that they have, make it long. It can go throughout your entire system and you control it all through that simple GT software. So it's really, really easy. Also, you guys can see that we have the motherboard inside of a case. We're gonna build a complete system inside this case. Now this is the Enwin 805. It's completely made of glass all the way around. So it's pretty badass. This system right here, you guys see, this was actually just built over Biostar so we could use it and show you guys the lighting stuff. But now we're gonna take that case, gut it out, put the motherboard we have in it and make it really, really nice. So before we bounce out of here, down below that like button, I'll have all the information on this motherboard. Plus, if you want more information about NZXT's cam, it'll be down there as well. And remember, this software is completely free for you to install on your computer and try to do it. And if you're into that total thing of knowing what's going on with your system, wherever you're at, and having just that ultimate control, it might be something you definitely want to check out. I'm Elric. You've been watching Tech of Tomorrow. We'll see you back here for more 